this is going to be a very quick conclusion, but one that should have become far more obvious as we went along. Let's take, let's recap on parts one through three. Going by the current teachings that are out there. So God created the heavens and the earth. He spoke and it happened. Then Adam was formed and was there. Adam became lonely, in which case God decided to create Eve. So the planets, or the, the heavens, the earth, Adam, created like that according to the teachings that are out there about the spoken word of God. But then a surgery-like procedure happened on Adam. No speaking and then, boom, there's Eve. Instead, Adam was put into a deep sleep. Fast forward to the days of Noah, and Noah was instructed to build this ark, and was given specific measurements, built it, and then God sent a flood that lasted for weeks to wipe out everything else, even though somehow it could have been wiped out quicker. I don't know, I seem to recall this thing of how quickly he created the heavens and the earth and, and man. Except for Eve, but man. But somehow, it takes weeks for everything else to just go away, except for a few people and two of each kind of animal. Does something seem wrong with this picture? We're taught that God can speak and things happen. But then there are cases where he could have done it, but he didn't, such as in the case of Eve. And if he really wanted to end the world so badly because of how bad it was, why did it take weeks to do it, as opposed to how it began, where it was quick? This can also lead to further proof of Nibiru. Nibiru would keep things going for quite a while. But obviously there's far more proof. Let's just put it this way. Long story short. The God that everyone perceives, there's proof that it's incorrect. The people that what you've been taught from all these people throughout all these years just continues to morph into something crazy. And we wonder why people are denouncing their religions. People are becoming atheists. People don't even want to even think that there's a God anymore. They don't even believe it because none of it makes sense. I hate to say it, but congratulations to all the, the leaders out there who taught all this and educated the masses. You have misguided humanity based off of your illogical teachings and your closed-minded approach. And it is very closed-minded. The fact that you can't even look at any other person's beliefs and see why they would end up in that category in the first place, between Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and, you know, where these all these religions came from, where all these beliefs came from, there's all these different separate branches of Christianity, for goodness sake, with each one having a small difference in their belief. And we wonder why humanity is as divided as it is today. Let's use some common sense, people. For the majority out there, wake up. Wake up. Do your research. 
Stop taking everything as gospel. And stop pretending that just because you go to church or you have a certificate that you paid probably ten, twenty thousand dollars for to go to school so they can teach you other nonsense, that somehow you know it all. I'm not going to pretend to know it all, but I'm going to admit that I'm awake and that I'm not being fooled anymore and that I'm not going to take some person, a professional, a certified professional's word as gospel. Because we know that scientist after scientist proves other scientists' research wrong, wrong, and every single one of them was a certified professional. Let that sink in. God bless and have a great weekend. See you next time.